We did a deep dive and, and recognized that there were some areas of deficiency. We're moving into a different phase now and we need something different and we brought that into place. I think people are going to see a, a very major difference. Major difference. So do the staff changes that shook Ben Carson's campaign prior to the new year mean the candidate's chances at the White House are slimming? One person sees this shakeup as an opportunity as the new campaign chairman for the Carson campaign, retired U.S. Army Major General Robert Dees. General, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks for coming on. Well, Tucker and Clinton, uh, likewise to you, happy 2016, which is certainly a pivotal year in our nation's history. That's for sure. So um, the, the, the candidate, Dr. Ben Carson, does an interview with the Washington Post in which he basically says the guy who's running my campaign is not doing a good job and suggests that he's going to be fired. The guy running the campaign says, I had no idea. It adds up to a pretty chaotic picture. What was that about? Well, Dr. Carson uh, assessed the situation. He made some decisive changes, and we're excited about that. There's a, a false narrative, perhaps, that uh, the campaign's in chaos or loss of momentum. I would say it's just the opposite. We, we are gaining energy uh, from this move, and we're excited about it. Uh, you have to keep it in context. We had three uh, staffers and two uh, intern level leave. Uh, out of a, a staff of over 100. So we're not talking about major impacts, uh, and we're excited. We have a great team already. We've been, uh, in terms of our field operations, our fundraising, uh, our social media, we are second to none. And then we recognize we need to improve, uh, streamline our communications, and we need to uh, get more, uh, take the governor off of our policy engine, uh, which is substantive. So we're excited about the future. The, team in Iowa is ready to move out. Ryan Rhodes doing a great job there. Ed Brookover is yeah. our new campaign chairman. Ed is a wonderful quarterback. Uh, his whole life experiences have prepared him for this moment. But General, part of the analysis that Tucker was referring to, and yes, it's true that uh, you know, a large amount of money has been raised here in the fourth quarter by the Carson campaign, but in the polls, the, the, uh, the doctor has gone down in the polls. Take a look at the most recent uh, Real Clear uh, uh, Politics average with Ted Cruz at 31%. This is in Iowa, 27% for Trump, 11 for Rubio, and Carson at 9%. That's a drop for Dr. Ben Carson over the past few months. Well, that's true, but we think that uh, we're not looking back at that. We're looking at the untapped uh, potential that Dr. Carson represents. His integrity, his character, his courage. Uh, you know, he's not, this is not newfound courage. This is courage that he demonstrated standing in front of the presidential, uh, president at the prayer breakfast. Uh, moral courage to tell the truth, uh, to talk with common sense solutions. Some people said it sounds like Solomon talking, and such wisdom. So uh, Dr. Carson is, is not uh, new to this. Uh, idea of leadership or experience. There have been some false narratives, and uh, with a revision to our campaign, we're going to uh, destroy, if we can, those false narratives yes. because Dr. Ben Carson is a man of character and principle. He knows policy. He's a man of great experience and depth, and uh, we, we'll get that message out, and we're confident that the people of Iowa and beyond are going to understand uh, more about who Dr. Ben Carson is. You know, some people have fans, but Dr. Ben Carson has true believers, and we're just going to get the message out further on that. So, General, you spent your life in uniform. Did you ever think you'd be chairman of a presidential campaign? Uh, not a clue, uh, Tucker, but uh, the reality is that uh, my whole life experience also has prepared me for this moment in time. I believe strongly in Dr. Ben Carson and what he stands for, uh, his values, his courage. Uh, and I'm uh, gladly supporting him. I have found, as I've worked with him as previously his national security advisor, that he has all the right reflexes. Uh, he has uh, taken more 2 a.m. calls than anybody I know uh, collectively. He's dealt with uh, complex scenarios, life-death situations. He really has the right reflexes, and as a person that spent 30 years in uniform, I'm convinced he has the right stuff to be commander-in-chief, and not only the right stuff, but I think he's the most qualified candidate that we have on that stage, uh, and I'm anxious to tell people more about that. Well, General, as a general, you've managed your resources well throughout your career as well. How do you marshal your forces against the frontrunner Donald Trump? Well, uh, my whole life I've learned to integrate combat power. Uh, so just uh, as with Dr. Carson, he believes in integrating all elements of national power on behalf of we the people and our uh, security abroad and our security at home. I also believe that we can do that in a campaign sense. We need to get a more integrated uh, operation uh, that creates better focus, more succinct messaging. We're doing that as we speak, and so I think you'll see a considerable difference. All right. We'll be watching. Thanks a lot, General, for coming on this morning. Happy New Year. Thank Thanks you, so much. gentlemen.